happy thanksgiving folks so it's going to be clear tonight so i wanted to capture the california nebula if it is possible it's in a bright moon still but i think i should be able to get a good view of the california nebula so if you had seen the pictures of california nebula uh, the name uh, gives it away that it looks like the state of california the shape of the nebula is almost the shape of the state of california it is pretty wide like the state of california it is like 2.5 degrees field of view the red cat gives you around 4 degrees field of view so i think the red cat would be a best companion to capture the california nebula all the way from top to the bottom it's mainly a hydrogen beta hydrogen alpha kind of signal uh, there is a o7 star i believe uh, next to it i think that is going to be a beautiful blue star that you could see yeah one thing that i am realizing is if you want to take uh, pictures like the california nebula not as bright as orion you need to take longer exposures particularly if you are using the dual band or tri band or opto long l enhance kind of filters using the color camera in order to get a good signal so i tried the 2 minutes and 3 minutes but i'm actually liking the 5 minutes and the 7 minutes ones but if you see too much of a light pollution and if you are getting too much brightness i think you can bring the exposure down a little bit but i am using unity gain to make sure that i can capture with the f4 uh, lens properly so when i am processing my pictures in pixin site i am noticing that in the pixel rejection i am seeing lot of raining noise that is going away so i am doing a high dither i have to dither a little bit more to make sure that i can control the raining noise if you take longer and longer exposures particularly with the color camera i think you will end up getting that raining noise if you are not uh, dithering enough so that's all i have i'll show you guys the picture of california nebula